Flapper, you got fire coming in on your left. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Atlanta Cyberspace's immersive group training allows trainees to prepare for battle in a safe environment. The first-hand experience trainees gain through IGS is invaluable. IGS is a turnkey operation that records every detail from the time a trainee arrives and registers into the system to the last comment on the after-action review. IGS is not just controlled training, it's the future of training. Virtual training can't replace live fire, but it can bring soldiers to proficiency levels never before achieved and it will dramatically reduce both the cost and time invested in training. IGS easily integrates live, virtual, and constructive domains to revolutionize the nature of training. Both legacy and developing trained databases can be imported and enhanced with the powerful IGS editing tools to include creating the insides of buildings. Satellite and overhead photos converted into 3D can also be imported into IGS, providing the ability to conduct rehearsals in the most realistic environment possible. ACI's engine agnostic interface platform allows the immersive group simulation system to use any commercial gaming engine, which takes advantage of the ongoing technology developments and innovation of the $50 billion game industry. As a result, ACI has the latest visuals, authoring tools, and respond faster to user needs. ACI simulation is currently using the Unreal Engine 3, the most powerful game engine available. IGS supports HLA and DIS and has been integrated with numerous simulation systems from OneSAF to VCCT. Multiple hybrid hardware configurations are supported, from basic desktops to full body tracking stations, which provide the ability to use hand signals, walk naturally and interact with the environment. The Quantum 3D Man Wearable Expedition DI system is fully supported and hybrid mount dismount stations allows for inserting vehicles into the equation as well as wider displays and more processing power. The user's chest is tracked, allowing him to jump, lean, and crouch. All weapons are now wireless. Shots can be felt with a force feedback belt. And the AAR has detailed stats and graph generation. IGS is configurable from a highly mobile set of Pelican cases to a standard 40-foot air transportable container with aircon and heat. Every trainee is assigned a registration card, which holds their individual training record, audio, video, and stats of any training event conducted or archived for future assessments. Now, once registered, a series of virtual tools are at the instructor's disposal for mission briefings and objectives. The mission today is going to be we're going to move in, we're going to secure some information that we found on a helicopter. We need to neutralize this information. The information in there is classified and needs to be destroyed. The second objective of the mission is going to be driving around Route Alpha around this hotel. The mission for Bravo Victor 2 is going to be to get in there and extract that pilot out, put in vehicle, secure him, and we're going to get out of there as soon as possible. After being briefed, the trainees suit up. Wide field of view and stereoscopic head-mounted display equipped with 3D audio and intercom immerse the trainee in the mission environment. Weapons match the actual weapons trainees carry in real life. Maneuvering in the virtual environment is intuitive and easy. Once you get used to it, it's pretty much the same thing as, as what we use in the real world. With the duo tracking system, trainees can look independently of their turning. The ability to practice proper tactics, techniques, procedures, and also have independent aim points for the weapon and the trainee is fundamental to proper training. Come on, let's go. Bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. Get him, get him, get him. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Okay, go for it. Objective of our game has been met. Moving to the objective, Michael. The trainees carry out their mission, linked by headsets and the IGS system. The God's Eye View allows the mission specialist to capture key engagements and activity for the after-action review. Check your fire. That's a friendly. Get that guy in the package. Come with me. Come with me. Retrieve it. Get it out of there. Get out. All right, moving to the right. Go. 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 Friendlies are uh, exiting building. Provided crowd fire. Mission complete. After the mission is complete, an after-action review will wade through the team's steps, one by one, analyzing the actions. This allows for a greater learning curve and stronger real-world results. Point all in the right direction. 
Good job, Gunners. All right, this point here, you actually incinerated all the hot flight equipment on the helicopter and equipment. That got complete, and everybody, again, that went pretty smooth with Gunners. You all had good fields of fire. Everybody was pointing the weapons in the right direction. That was always good. And if you look at your little on uh, the snail trails, you look at the movements, they're, they're very erratic. And most of you guys came out here in the open when you had a really good wall here that you could have just approached on that angle. The rise of individual-based training has provided a revolutionary platform for military, civil, and private training programs. Atlanta Cyberspace, with its ability to leverage existing technology and combine it with simulation software, is the leader of this revolution. Our turnkey system saves clients money and time and allows for greater focus on content. In addition, multiple IGS can be networked together from any location. They not only see each other, but can communicate in real time. We can actually review the whole mission, throw the tools in there. We can see the snail tree. We can see actually what we're looking at, our fields of view. I can actually show them where you were pointing your barrel, you're pointing your barrel right at your buddy's back. That's the kind of environment you want to see this. You don't want to see it in the actual real world. In the real world, an accident could be catastrophic, whereas in the virtual world, you can always go back and correct your mistake. I think as a soldier in this type of environment, it's hard to organize your thoughts. And with this program, that's exactly what it teaches you to do. This program has a great potential as a mission rehearsal tool. With this uh, system, I never came across any of the visual or simulator sickness. It's about time the infantry got something like this. You know, we felt neglected because the tankers and the aviation folks had it all this time and we haven't seen anything like this. IGS finally brings to the individual soldiers what tank and helicopter crews have had for years. But IGS is not just a dismounted trainer. Units can conduct convoy operations and when required, dismount to clear an urban area. This incredible system also allows up to 64 individuals to train together in a completely immersive virtual environment. Get an insurgent down the hall.